Hi folks, Instructional Coordinator Adrian at Coronado Historic Site in Bernalillo, New Mexico. Today, as part of our ongoing series highlighting the native plants of Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley, I am going to introduce you to a new plant. This is horsetail milkweed, also known as poison milkweed. It is one of 26 native milkweed species in New Mexico and is a member of the dogbane family, which includes oleander. The common name milkweed comes from the plant's thick, milky-like sap that contains latex. Its scientific name is Asclepius subverticillata. The genus name Asclepius comes from Asclepius, the Greek god of medicine, so named because milkweed has beneficial medicinal uses, primarily in the treatment of lung diseases. The species name, Subverticillata, means almost world, referring to the leaf arrangement. This perennial likes to grow in grasslands, woodlands, and on sandy mesas and roadsides. It can grow up to five feet tall and is recognizable by its long, erect stems covered in long, narrow, whorled leaves and topped with bunches of white flowers. The flowers are quite unique looking. They possess a base of five petals, or corolla lobes, and five smaller petals, or calyx lobes, above. Each of the smaller top petals has a hood that contains a short horn that projects out over the stigma in the middle. Now, horsetail milkweed is labeled as a weed, and ranchers dislike it because it is toxic to livestock. Invasiveness and toxicity aside, horsetail milkweed is an important part of the ecosystem. It provides nectar for several insect species, including the great black wasp and carpenter bees. And we can't forget the monarch butterfly. While milkweed is only one source of nectar for monarchs, it is the only plant that can host its larvae or caterpillars. If adequate populations of milkweed are not available to the monarch on its migration between Mexico and Canada, population levels decline. Due to urban development, application of weed killers, and climate change, milkweed habitat is disappearing, and that means monarch butterflies are disappearing as well. Monarch populations have fallen by more than 80% since the mid-1990s. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife estimates up to an 80% probability of population collapse for monarchs east of the Rocky Mountains within 50 years and a 96 to 100% probability for the population west of the Rockies. So there you have it, folks. Horsetail milkweed, native plant at Coronado Historic Site and the Rio Grande Valley. Thanks so much for watching.